You it's told just, me this was not it's hot. You're just soft. God, you have hot boy fingers. I'm scared of you. Hurt. No yeah, it's a hot boy finger <laughs> summer. I said that wrong. Where are the hot boy fingers going? We don't know. <laughs> To understand the food of our present, we must first understand the food of our past. That's why we're recreating some of the most notable meals throughout history, and today we're trailblazing through the American West. Oh, is that about the time I had to set a truck on fire on my cross-country road trip in 2007? It was a rental. It was fine. Are people looking for you? We're going to recreate a meal from the Oregon Trail. It's time for Meals of History! All right, Emily, today's meal comes from 1843. This is when the first big train of a thousand travelers left from Independence, Missouri to the Willamette Valley in Oregon. It was a journey of over 2,000 miles. You had to face disease, climate, uh, not shooting yourself in the beanbag with your own gun. A lot of things. <laughs> beanbag. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> it was the story of a guy who tried to grab a gun and bash someone with it, shot himself in the ribs. There's so many ways to die on the Oregon Trail. Ben said to keep this quick. Where was this quick? <laughs> As you see from our menu here, this is not an official historical document per se. It is from the Oregon Trail video game. So they have recipes on the Oregon Trail video game? Not exactly, and there were a lot of historical inaccuracies, but they did get some things right. Like you had to take oxen, that was a big work animal. You had to take a bunch of dry goods like cornmeal, rice, beans, preserved foods like bacon. So we're gonna be working yeah. with a lot of that today. I remember the beginning of the game well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. A lot of dysentery gonna be involved. Oh boy. Well, you wanna put on a, an outfit and talk in a funny voice? Do I have to look like that guy, though? <laughs> yeah, I, you don't have to, but I'd like it. Though. I'd rather not shave my head. We'll figure it out. Who in tarnation do we have here? My name is Benjamin Buttons. Benjamin, wait, you're gonna get us sued by whoever holds that IP rights. Listen, IP, you pee. <laughs> we all pee on the Oregon Trail, all right? I Am I right? That. Unless you're wearing a onesie where uh, someone from production didn't spare for the butt flap. <laughs> Which, uh, thanks a lot. Do you need a guide? I would love a guide. I mean, right now, I, I, I feel like I have all my food preparation set up. That's my specialty. I could learn how to, like, not Whoa. die, though. You seem like an old timer, like you've been around the block. Yes, I've been around the block. Yes, I've been uh, back and forth five times, so I know everything there is to know about it. And you've never suffered, you've never died of dysentery. You've never well, died of snake Well, I've bite. had it. I can, I, I smell it from here. <laughs> Dang <laughs> You smell terrible. <laughs> if I had a flap. Christ. What the devil are we making today? We're making Johnny Cakes, Benny. <laughs> I like to call them Benny Cakes. <laughs> so, oh, Benny Cakes. I don't damn. get the joke. Yeah, no, me neither. There wasn't really a joke there. That's why it didn't land. There wasn't one. Oh, what? hey, you forgot to ask why I'm called Benjamin Buttons. <laughs> why are you called Benjamin Buttons? Because sometimes I come out on the trail and I find all the... There's not that many people who die, but when they do, they leave behind buttons. <laughs> oh, you got the... I've got so got many the buttons. buttons. Uh, did you kill them for their buttons? No, no. No, oh, no, I just collect the buttons. <laughs> Benny, we're making Johnny Cakes right now. So Johnny Cakes were a staple. Cornmeal, particularly white cornmeal, this is a huge non-spoilable food that people could take with them. What you do, the original Johnny Cake recipe, you'd just take boiling water, you'd add it with some salt and some sugar, both really popular rations on the Oregon Trail. Mm. You would make your own sort of dough and then just crisp them up with cakes. People had bacon, they estimated that you'd have to take about 200 pounds of food per person on there. Mm. Roughly like 100 pounds of flour, 15 pounds of bacon because it didn't spoil. Well, it did, but sometimes you just eat it anyways. So right now we're doing Johnny Cakes and bacon. How does that sound, Benny? Do you hear snakes? No, I don't hear snake. I don't. You gotta tell me if you hear snake. I'll tell. What does the snake sound like? I don't know. It's trail law. Turn, turn in the butter. Just distract yourself from the snakes. Now I'm paranoid that I'm gonna die. Jesus. Just no. Add the cream. Just here. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't I, paying attention. <laughs> you seem really. I just, I'm just wondering why you have no buttons. <laughs> I don't know. There's Where like are a they? There's none. Don't, don't kill me for my buttons. Jesus Witchcraft. Christ. Now you got me all paranoid out here. <laughs> oh, well, if you've seen as many snakes as I have. <laughs> What's the most gruesome way you've seen people die? Oh, well, let's see. Cholera sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Cholera sucks. Put that on a t-shirt. Oh, what's or a t-shirt? Like a... <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, then there's uh, dysentery. Which yeah. Is... So most of it, it passes. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah. I once had dysentery at what's called a Hokkaido seafood buffet. Ooh. Yeah, this is a thing that you're going to want to uh, uh, really check out if you, you know, truly ageless and live into the future because they had all-you-can-eat bang bang shrimp and I ate about three pounds of that, Benny Buttons. Uh, and then I got a little bit of the dysentery and I also threw up while I had the dysentery and then the sanitation worker came in as I was throwing up with the dysentery at the same time from all the bang bang. I feel like I should pause because this 
story is very, very sad. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes uh, you you get your leg under a wheel. That sounded pretty brutal. A lot of kids died, right? Oh, yeah. Just falling under but a wagon wheel. But it wasn't wheel? just the leg with those. The whole kid went under it sometimes. <laughs> it's not good. It's so little. They you got to watch your kids. They uh, just got crushed. <laughs> They on the trail, you know? So I will say that the majority of the reason that I know about the Oregon Trail is from the video game that we all played. You're not gonna know what the hell a video game is. You probably think I'm okay, a warlock. Okay, so I'll talk future. about the video okay, game. Good, 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 good. You weren't kidding about this tape, Chris. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, I played the game. You said you didn't play the game? I did. I played it like once at a public library. For whatever reason, we didn't have it at my school. But so everyone would talk about it. I know the references. You die of dysentery. There's insane things like you can only pack 100 pounds of food per person, and then you'll kill a buffalo and be like, you have 1,000 pounds of meat now. Yeah, I didn't make it past the mercantile usually because <laughs> the guy was like, what do you need? And then I was like, I don't know. Let's have some grain and some... Like, I don't know. And then he was like, you no, know, that's too much. And then I'm like, why just tell me what I need? Just tell me what I thing. need. the thing. And then you get on the trail and it's like, whoa, somebody didn't bring enough oxen. And I'm like, I had, there were oxen? How's this Johnny Cake batter coming? Oh, it's going it's, pretty good. I've okay, never I'm had trying. a Johnny Cake. I better be honest. What did you eat on the trail? Uh, mostly like jerky. Sometimes uh, <laughs> just, just. just jerky. And then if I was, if I brought too much, then I would just eat leather <laughs> just until I could find <laughs> something else. The thing is, I, I'm not a I'm not a gun guy on the trail. I've seen too many people accidentally, you know, do things because they, you know, they aren't qualified to own a yeah. gun. It yeah, seems yeah. like. Trail law should do something about that. I don't know if there was a lot of law to be had out there. I mean, that no, was one no. of the reasons people came out. You make out. your own law. What's the one cardinal law you believe in on trail law? Don't steal my horse. <laughs> but just your horse, but you can steal other people's horses. Uh, well, it depends on the circumstances, <laughs> you know. If, like, if somebody stole my horse, well, sorry, buddy. I'm going to steal that. your horse. I feel that. This just kind of goes down the line. It's like paying it forward, Stella. It's paying Starring it backward? Haley Joel Osment. <laughs> you know about Haley Joel Osment. It's a really Oregon weird Trail movie. I should keep doing this. I remember that. That was based on a weird book. It was. My mom was super into that. It was weird stuff. Now, I did watch that in Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start frying up these Johnny Cakes. I don't think this is going to work out. This just looks like polenta mush right now. You can't be but negative on the trail. Can't be ne no room for negativity you on the trail. You know it's the law. Let's get two in there. Let's see if like we can kind of apply this into a dough. Because the idea was that you just like mash the other cornmeal, it would kind of hydrate, and then you're smashing it into like a sweetened polenta cake. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, again, this is the OG recipe. Like, people would travel with flour, with eggs, they would have laying hens. There was a big economic depression in 1837, so a lot of people who left were like, really down on their luck and just looking for opportunity. That said, there were also some really well-financed trails, like John Jacob Astor, who was like a big socialite business person from New York, had a lot of uh, stake in trading fur companies out Ooh. in the Oregon country. And so there was some like really well-financed trails and that didn't even mean that they were gonna make it out alive. Cause like, you can still just fudge up and die. Well, I'm gonna wait for these to cook for a sec. All right, Johnny Cakes are almost done. I got some butter that I already churned. Look right at here. all those knives! Right, Benny, I had no, don't touch my knives. Don't you dare touch my knives. Honestly, that was this very exciting. <laughs> you want to know a fun fun way? I almost uh, I almost lost an eye. Yeah. <laughs> it's one way that I think I might lose an eye today is these suspenders. <laughs> they, do you, I don't know if you could see how, how much, the, what's this, what this is doing, but they're holding on for dear life. <laughs> I'm afraid one's gonna snap up and hit me in the eye. Look at it, we got fresh cooked Johnny cakes and bacon, oh, Benny Buttons. You don't wanna, I don't get, wanna get, in. get into it, but I, we got so, we had a lot more to cook. You know, like apple butter, what you do? Oh my God, apples, they grew everywhere across the Oregon Trail. People just forage them. Johnny Appleseed, who was just a deranged lunatic, you know, wearing a pot in his head. Would you call this a wolf knuckle or a moose knuckle? <laughs> So apple butter, is that, uh, oh! Oh, oh no, God! No, snake, snake, Benny, run! Snake, where'd it go? Take the bacon! I literally, where, seriously, where did it go? The snake bitch, you gotta you, rub you raw bacon it. in it. You threw it and the snake just, oh God, now we don't know where the snake is. Oh Jesus, it's in the deep you gotta, fryer. You gotta watch. Wait, really, where'd the snake I go? don't know where he went. I don't know, we gotta no, find it. there's another snake! Oh ah, God, no! Benny, I gotta rub eye. raw bacon in the snake bite! My eye! <laughs> You seem to be recovering well from the snake bite, Benny. I don't like that you got that eye occluded. Oh God, it, oh, it's just weeping hair now. It's just falling off of his body. I don't feel very good. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you want me to like try and, there are a couple of cures for snake bites. None of them you liked. Well, I think taking out the eye was going to be the cure all for yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of was though. Anyone that got a snake bite, they just tried to cut out the infected flesh. There was another one though. Where what you do is another you'd, one. Yeah, you'd cut, where you'd no, not another snake, Benny. Benny, Benny's all shell shocked now. <sighs> 
uh, PTSD from all this. You'd, you'd cut an X into the wound and then you'd pack gunpowder in it and light it on fire. You wanna try that one? No, no, not that one. That's for the legs. <laughs> that's that's only for the legs. Me. Don't do it in Do the you wanna face. make some bison stew? This was like a prized commodity because we've killed a fresh bison theoretically on this. And that was like the number one thing you hunted because you just got hundreds of pounds of meat. All right, kill. just you gotta calm down with the knife. My, per sorry, my periphery sorry, vision is kind of jacked. All right, so we got some turnips. Uh, root vegetables, they last a long time, especially in the cold. And if you're traveling through the Rockies, you probably got some root vegetables on you. We got some turnips right here. Mm. And then we got some beans, one of the three sister crops. We already had corn for breakfast in our Johnny Cakes. Then we got beans and then squash was the other one. Uh, so we're gonna put some beans in there, salt, that was like a cure-all because it's antimicrobial, so you'd add that to whatever you got. And then people would forage for greens out there. Dandelion greens grew wild, probably helped with the poops a little bit. Listen, man, it's just a long stream at this point. I don't know when it's <laughs> nothing, coming or when it's going. That helps you know the poops. Do you want to hear? Can you like try and pick out the stems of these dandelion Take leaves? Pick them off. Okay. I'm gonna start hacking up this here bison. Catch. How many bison you killed out there? How many have I killed? I told you I'm not a gun guy. Well, yeah. Would you? Are you just wrestle the bison? You just Usually go choke them out? No, I just walk up and I, I go. I'm, Ask it if I can have it. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying like your pacifism has probably gotten you a long way on the organ. Well, trip. yeah, but some of the some threat. of the bison look at me in the eye. Well, now I just have one, but they'll 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 be fine. It'll do fine. They look at me in the eye like uh, I've had enough. And <laughs> you're saying the bison are begging for death. Yeah. And then you just wrestle them down and yeah. gently put them to sleep. Do you think that was historically accurate and that's indicative of how most people killed the bison? I don't know, I just made that one up. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they probably used guns inefficiently. Yeah, that was a big thing. The reason you brought so much bacon is because is you couldn't right? rely on grain. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, where am I putting it? Looks good, just throw it wherever, dude. It's like you, 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 know, you go to the woods, you pee wherever. <laughs> you know, you just throw the dandelion greens wherever. Don't poop wherever. <laughs> don't, no, no, no. I went what, to Wilderness one? Adventure Camp. And I learned the proper way to poop in the woods. What but, is the proper way? Well, you gotta dig a hole, and oh. then you poop in the hole, oh. and you cover it. Um, but they made us use one shovel. We all just share a shovel, but they were like, don't touch the poop with the shovel. All yeah. you do is touch the dirt with the shovel, but I don't trust that. That makes sense. The people, I just, you know, I didn't trust the people. I've only pooped outside once. I went backpacking. I'm gonna add some beans to the water, get them soaking a little bit. Uh -huh. I went backpacking, uh, and I only pooped once on a four-day trip because I found out I can't poop while standing. And so what I did- I can't either. What I did is I found- um, Unless it's by accident, <laughs> in which case I very that just much can. I found two rocks that were spaced far enough apart so I could spread the butt cheeks on either rock. <laughs> and then it was basically a makeshift toilet, but here's the problem okay, is Jennifer that- Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> that there was, there was a downhill, and so I, <laughs> I pooped and then the, I just watched the turf roll, roll down into the my hill? shoe. That's... Not like into my shoe, but it's like on my shoe. And I'm trying to like lift oh, my feet rolled... up. I thought he'd say he was gonna roll down the hills and I was like, that's well, like, that was. Is the best version of Indiana Jones that I wanna see. <laughs> <laughs> just running from a giant. No, but speaking of pooping in the woods, at Wilderness turd. Adventure Camp, everybody got constipated because no one wanted to use that shovel. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that makes that sense, shovel. that makes sense, that makes and, sense. But we all got constipated, we weren't feeling good, and so the counselors gave us each a dollop of hand soap to swallow. Oh, uh, wait, what? Yeah, it's like, it makes you poop. Yeah, because it's like poison, right? No, it was like non-toxic, it was the orange Stuff that Wait, but why good. else would it make you? Why else would a hand soap make you poop? It's soapy. Don't you feel like things are a little bit slipperier when they're soapy? I don't it? think it's just lubing you from the inside, and that's why it makes you. But that can't yeah, be right. Yeah, it's like that. It's from the inside. Oh God, I don't. That seems like some form of child abuse. You know, I don't know. No, I'd say nature is a form of child <laughs> abuse. Of yeah. That's a fair point. If I did not want to go. I wanted to suck at games on my Sega Game Gear and stay inside. Uh, they now do you I know like why that. so many people felt emboldened to bring children on this trip? Well, I think- Let's go back to the Oregon Trail. They wanted to bring their children with them, probably. Well, yeah, but why they thought like they could do it, right? Cause like they could, but like, you know, before that it was just like fur trappers and like merchants, people like really knew the land. Right. But then there was uh, one famous expedition, Marcus Whitman, a missionary and his wife, Narcissa. And Narcissa writes this series of letters that's like going on this trail super super easy yeah, so it like it emboldened easy. a bunch of people to just be like screw it i can Are take a little yappy kids Are they the ones who made kids. Whitman's chocolate <laughs> No, I don't believe it's the same oh, family. Not... I do love me some Whitman's chocolate. Me too. It's no Russell Stover, but it's good. Ugh, Russell Stover. Well, we got some dandelion. Let's top this with some more dandelion nice. greens. Because this was like the oh, easiest uh, way. Oh, it was that easy. <laughs> you did good. I the knew, you way. have to tell me. The easiest way to stretch your ingredients, Benny Buttons. You want to survive this godforsaken trip? Benny Buttons! <laughs> throwing <laughs> buttons at me. He keeps so throwing many. the buttons. The best Look way to make any ingredient stretch, <laughs> this is a good tip for you at home, make a soup. 
It's just all in there. The broth, you get the nutrients. You got an old man throwing buttons at you. It doesn't even distract you. You just take it, pop it in a pot, put it on a fire, you bury it in coals, you let it go, bingo, bango, pop a lid on. You guys want to wonder when I'm going to run out of buttons? <laughs> when are you gonna, not you now, that's not, not today. I got a button, that's lucky. Now I got to splash the nips. Look. Well, we're gonna let this here stew for about four hours or whenever we decide to stop for the night, in which case I'm gonna keep a little lantern on so Betty doesn't creep into my tent. Uh, and then we're gonna make some dessert. Oh yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. <laughs> yeah, you got uh, what you got there? A very thick whiskey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me, Benny, this is a, uh, Benny, this is maple syrup. How many bottles of this have you drank? Oh. Enough. Oh God, Betty, you're, you're, you're not drunk. You're just in a pre-diabetic shock coma. I thought it went bad. It's so <laughs> thick. And it's not even, uh. oh, I thought it was just, when you gave this to me as a prop concept, I thought it just said grade A amber color. So I was not expecting, <laughs> but beneath it, it says syrup. Did you think you're just drinking thick food diet? Listen, I'm you already. You still drank it though. <laughs> I know, it was really good. Of course I would, for the bit, you know? Yeah, you gotta do it for the bit. We're very committed We're to things so here. We're so committed to the bit. So Ugh. committed to the mustache left after five Oh, minutes. the mustache <laughs> is out of here, man. That thing, I was, the lip is too sweaty. I'm 36. <laughs> I feel that. I sweat on my lip now. You no, know, hey, we all do. <laughs> I got sweat in the grundle layer. You wanna make some mud apples? Yes! So mud, <laughs> yes! So mud apples were, uh, it was actually a Native American technique where they would take like fresh river mud, they'd pack it around wild apples that grew and they'd throw it in the fire and then the mud would harden and bake and it would just make these delightful baked apples. Ooh. You'd peel the skin off and eat it. And so pioneers on the trail, they'd like do this for their kids. It'd be a fun little treat. You wanna make some here? Yeah. Mix, mix it's a It's how you amount. make it up to them after letting them go under a wagon wheel. <laughs> Sorry, you ain't got no legs there, little Johnny. Here's an apple caked in mud. Yeah, buck up. They did the best with what they had. So I'm adding, I'm making some strawberry dumplings. Here, add that water to that clay and mix it around with something. Is this hot? Something. Nope, add the water to the clay, mix it around, then pack around those apples. We're just gonna throw them in the oven. The and whole thing? Whole thing. You're very wasteful with Maybe. water on I don't the trail. Know. Figure it out. <laughs> you know? Figure well, it no. out. They would use whiskey to uh, dilute into water to supposedly purify it. Didn't work too well because a lot of people just died. I'm, I'm never, gonna start crushing I'm... strawberries. <laughs> yeah, go in with your hands. Go in with your hands. That's go the way to do it. Go in with your hands. That's the way to do it. I am taking strawberries. So there were actually like a lot. Oh, you it's told just, me this was. It's not hot. hot. You're just soft. God, you have hot boy fingers. You're scared of you hurting. No. Yeah, it's a hot boy finger summer. I said that wrong. Where are the hot boy fingers going? We don't know. <laughs> Did not, I don't know why. Strawberries were commonly foraged along the Oregon what Trail. I was, what I was trying to say is Josh doesn't feel hot on his fingers. That's true. He can put his hands in like boiling water and feels nothing. Hot Absolutely. boy fingers. Oh, I can't reach my buttons. This straw. <laughs> I'm not reaching your You're gonna have to get you. the button. I don't want to touch your button. It's the don't. side pocket. I don't, it's not oh inappropriate. God. Benjamin, I don't like. I don't. What else you got in there? Just the jackknife? No. What is here? What do I do? You just throw, you throw the, them up. And you say many buttons. Button. This is a toggle. This is well. It still counts as a button. Oh, yeah, Benny, Benny Buttons! buttons. <laughs> we got this strawberry and dumpling recipe for <laughs> Mary Powers. I'm just trying to create a catchphrase, you guys. And, and she said that you mash the strawberries with some water and sugar, and then you let it boil. Comment below if you want Benny Buttons merch. And then, and then you make some nice little loose dumplings with flour and sugar. It's just a sugar. bag of loose buttons. And then saleratum. <laughs> I know what you're saying. We're sal and saleratus. You're all like, what, that, for the, what the heck is saleratus? It's what they call baking powder back For then. only the price of a That's cup of coffee. That's the craziest freaking YouTube thing YouTube can get heard. some Benny Buttons and that we'll, so just, bad. we'll put them in the it's apron really when you buy the apron. Sodium bicarbonate is what it is, and that's gonna give you a nice little, little, little rise in I colors. hate this. No one likes it, you're on the Oregon Trail. It's just not. We're not here to have fun. I don't. We're not here to have fun. All right. We gotta make dessert because I, I forgot to put water in it. Just this reminds of me of the there. stuff that I put on my rash there it goes. when I was out in the Oregon Trail. We didn't know what it was from. Sometimes I'm just allergic to things. <laughs> I have survived uh, despite oh, all of that though. Honestly, this is probably what you put on a rash. Just get some mud and rub it around. I don't know. I reckon. And I don't know enough to say. What it was. <laughs> All I know is I got these lovely strawberry dumplings. We're gonna have a nice meal. We got Johnny cakes for breakfast. Oh. We got our bison stew. I'm gonna boil these saleratus dumplings. You know what? I still don't feel good. <laughs> I think the snake bite is bad. Oh God, yeah. But you know, I'm a strong man. I've lived through, uh, I've lived through, I don't call her a. <laughs> 
I lived through <laughs> diphtheria. I've lived through when I dip, you dip, we dip theria. <laughs> Did you it's live through a, when I put my hand up on your hip theory yeah, you, too? Yeah, it's when you, when you put your, and you put my, ow, yeah. ow, my hip, my hip, oh, my hip. just, oh, the lack of, oh, God, oh, and the snakes no. are back. More snakes, Well, more you know, snakes. honestly, I think this is a good lesson in self-sufficiency from Benny Buttons. Oh. Uh, he was supposed to guide me. I'm out here just trying to make my strawberry dumplings and my mud apples. It's you know? like you don't want to help me. And that's the thing, you know, it's really, this is, you know. I'm a you human a being. To go out on the Oregon Trail, sometimes that was just, you know, the risk that you assumed. I'm in pain. You know? That's why I always, you say, you hang in the back of the pack, you know, you make the desserts, make people happy. Wait. I guess the snake you know, is my friend now, huh? Sometimes. All right, so we're going to take these apples. We got this lovely clay right here. Oh, God, that's so good. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> no, babe, don't, don't go to sleep. You have a concussion. I you're can't gonna die. sleep. You're going to die. If you go to sleep, you're going to die. We're going to pack some clay around these here apples. You're going to have to help me oven. up because I have reptar hands I'm not right touching you. I have clay on I'm not touching you. I felt I something. I can't touch anything I right felt now. something through your button pocket that I didn't like. What was it? We got, all right, we're going to take this here apple. We're going to pop it in the oven. It wasn't and, a snake, Oh, I'm just kicking it? buttons. I just feel the buttons I'm kicking. Look at these lovely strawberry dumplings. They're cooking away. Oh, you we're probably cover felt this. my lucky used condom, didn't you, you? Oh, God, what did you even make condoms out of back then? Is it just like a bear intestine? I don't know, intestine? but when you're born, you only get one. Uh, have a button. You just get one. Oh, a button. We're going to let these cook for a sec. I'm going to check on Benny. <laughs> Benny. Not the buttons. Oh god, dessert's done. I'm gonna grab it. Benny, don't don't get your ass burnt. Don't oh. get your ass burnt. I got I got hot mud apples. I don't look at these beautiful mud apples. Oh, get the buttons out. They creep me out. Your buttons creep me out. You I just, gotta say that. The, and the, then we got. No look one at, was. I didn't hurt anyone to achieve these buttons. Girl, I, I, you keep saying that. I don't know if I believe. Look at these beautiful strawberry dumplings. Ooh. Come on. Wait, I think you're burning Benny's buttons. Yeah, <laughs> burning Benny's buttons. Don't ask him where it burns. Hey, Benny. What? Can I sell you these for a second? Can I try and trade these to you? These are mythical bear fighting gloves. What you do is you put them on your hand and then a bear comes up to you and then you knee it right in the groin and then this is gonna protect your hands from being scratched at. They also double as oven mitts that you can take hot pans out of the coal fire and you can buy them at mythical.com. They look like snake heads and they make me a little scared, but I want them. Buy the uh, mythical oven mitts ah! if you wanna scare Betty with a snake, oh God! See how well they protected you from a fake snake being thrown at you by producer Annalise? Thanks, Annalise. All right. Well, the bitch. Oh, dog's bashing the steak head now. We got yeah. meat now. <laughs> hey, we'll throw this in the stew. <laughs> hey, he's still alive. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> run, Betty, run! No, he's, he's, he's okay. going away. He's going away. Old Benny Buttons, you're battered, you're bruised, you're bitten, but you're not broken. I love B words. <laughs> <laughs> you're a B word. You, oh boy. Let's dig into the breakfast. Walked you, you right want, into that. You want a Johnny cake here? We got some fresh churned butter that you almost I made with. it. We're gonna slap some of that in there, get it melted all around the Johnny cakes. Here, I'll give you the one with the most apple butter. Take some bacon. This is this is breakfast. This is how you'd start the day. Oh boy. It looks lovely. You know, I think I'd like to have these things for my last meal too. In the, <laughs> far in the future, because I would not die. We're publishing this episode twice. Benny, how do you feel about death? Well, sometimes I pray for it. <laughs> And I'm like, why? Why, God? I love why it. have you, you cursed just... me with this immortality? <laughs> You're looking younger. I think my eye will grow back. Yeah. I think that's how the legend Eat of your Benny Johnny Buttons. Cakes. Eat your oh, Johnny yeah, cakes. the I'm food. Eating, what this show the is about. This is an important part. Are you going to make a, a taco? Honestly, I don't think that word came out for another 11 years. Well, what would you call it, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Podcast Guy? Oh. That's a delight. I yeah. bet you this is how they ate it. There's tons of butter. There's tons of just like animal fat and lard. Oh smashed and crispy. It's effectively a polenta cake. You apple know, butter? when I came on here, I got a little concerned about the clay apples. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really, the apple butter is really good too. Mm -hmm. Little right. cakes are a little oily. Yeah, saturated in butter. But Woo! you just needed calories so you survived, That's right? That's very true. All right, I was taking a lunch. We got our bison stew. I only got one bowl. I am. Take a, take a tray yeah. out. This is the cup I Here used to get well water. <laughs> oh, at least not the one you used to unclog the pooping hole. That's a shovel. <laughs> Sorry. The community shovel. <laughs> it looks a little gross, but it's very hearty. You got the dandelion greens. You got this nice tender bison meat. It's been cooked all day in a fire. They would have just buried it in coals and let it go. Oh, my cake is falling apart in the stew. The bison's a little lean, but that's it. I mean, this is hearty and satisfying. Ooh. 
you know? It's actually very good. It's really good. I actually would eat this regularly. We'll send you back to your trading post or whatever with the mug. Oh boy. I'm uh, gonna be the most popular guy in town. <laughs> Sounds like you already are. You know those Oregonian crabs. Let's, you wanna dig into actually, some- Actually, no. I'm kind of struggling with my, my guide reviews. Yeah, which word I, travels fast. I know, so I was hoping. Mm -hmm. Would you give me a, a, a thumbs up? I, you know, I if you have like a survey, like a comment card, I, I can fill it out and, you know, usually hey, grab a people, mud apple, grab a mud apple. When people fill out the cards, that's where I get in trouble. <laughs> grab a mud apple. So what you do is you would peel off the mud and then you would just peel the skin, which should peel nice and easy. Mm. And then you got nice apple flesh. Benny, grab it. You're not eating your mud apple. All right. Oh, God. Why? Oh. This is, um... I reckon there might be like a particular kind of mud you're supposed to use <laughs> that we may not have used, but yeah, here, just just claw it. Just, uh -uh, let me, let me touch your mud apple. I just don't understand why why the clay on it. It bakes it nice for the kids. Oh, so we're not supposed kids to eat the love clay. It. No, don't eat the clay. Have you been eating the clay? Well, I was gonna. Don't eat the clay. Don't eat the clay. No, you, the clay acts like an oven. Oh God, it's all stuck on me. It's gonna oh, juice. Oh, it's so wet. Oh, oh just juice. juice. <laughs> That's great. Wow, I can't believe they used to eat such tasty treats back in the olden days. I can't even eat with my hands he works. It's covered in clay. <laughs> you need a taste of that you need mud a, apple? You need, a, you need a napkin, my friend? My new, my new trail friend? Benny, thank you. It's trail law that if you have a sling on, you have to let people wash with it. <laughs> Your Uber guide rating just shot up in my I books. know. If you, if you have a, a clean sling, people know that you're not popular. <laughs> <laughs> Grab some dumplings. This this seems like a dessert that's more more my speed. This looks Ooh, really good. Oh yes. The dumplings cooked up pretty nice. The strawberries cooked down. You're just throwing in a fire on the wagon Whoa. next to gunpowder. Cheers. Cheers. I'm putting some bacon with that I think, <laughs> in my mouth. Woo. That's just great. I mean, this is effectively it's like a steamed cobbler in a really good way. How many people do you think this would feed? Ah, oh, this would feed like a you know like one greedy father who shot his children because they were slowing him down. <laughs> I told you there's a lot of other ways to do it. They just <laughs> die. <laughs> it's like if, if it's in the video game, it's just Brother John. <laughs> he, he hit his head on a rock and then was strangled by his This neck. is a grieving father's day's meal because his kids fell into the wagon. But my favorite part about playing the video game is when you didn't give a shit about one person dying. <laughs> Be like, your Aunt Lou is like, I didn't get that Aunt Lou. I forgot know. she was here. And it's just like, less weight. That's gonna be at least 100 pounds of grain we can add now. <laughs> God. Uh, Benny, sounds like you really care about if people make it through alive. I do. You're a good man. You can pay me or you could do the review. I'm only paid in buttons. I'm pretty sure we <laughs> we established that from the beginning of this reoccur reoccurring joke. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> God, that's a snake. Oh, the snake. You know what? Why won't you die? It's the same snake. It's always him. Benny, since you saved my life. Oh. I'm giving you five stars on your official review. Oh boy. Post. This is gonna go up on the bulletin board for all the townspeople to see. I think he got me again. Oh no, Benny, don't die. You're gonna die. No, I'm just gonna be in a lot of pain and never die. <laughs> Soon I will just be a head in a jar. <laughs> Benny, thank you so much for the service and for getting me through the entire Oregon Trail oh, safely. Thank you so much. That was happening as a meta narrative. Oh. We were traveling and now we're here. We're in Oregon. The Suck claps, it. You can't prove we're not. The claps mean wrap it the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, The Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you got your podcast. Hit us up on Instagram and TikTok at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag Dreams Become Food. Benny, you got anything to say to the people? You got any last words? The buttons. Benny buttons. <laughs> like a Pokemon who says your own name. Just Benny <laughs> buttons. <laughs> You're too hot to handle and so is your bakeware. Get a Mythical Kitchen Oven Mitt available now at mythical.com.